Park the it in the middle are, of the floor and give you a walk around. The viewers are ready for part two. Part two. Let me get a pause! <laughs> hey, Nick! What's up? Nick, part two is finally here. The golf yeah, R. It looks good, dude. We're ready it to hit the dyno? It looks good. Yeah, we're ready to put some braking miles on it, hit the dyno. Um, but check it out. So we got the bumper on. Headlights Bumper's in, back on. The support back on. We switched from racing line catch can to the APR catch can. Okay. So we have a full, uh, we have the full, like, my stage three wiring tuck okay so basically the coolant line i delete the coolant line that comes over the top of the engine i delete all the evap lines that come over the top of the engine the wiring harness i cut it and i splice it and i run it this way yep. um so that's all tucked in i have um the turbo hand uh ground tuck so that's back there um we have the blaze intake that they custom made for us to pair up to the typhoon yeah, turbo nice. um the flex sensor but this engine bay this engine bay looks sick yeah it looks good it came out really this nice super clean looks looking sick. so we got a show bay engine bay making hopefully i hope 700 hopefully and we got some, we got the guesses these? what are these some t37 yep we got the porsche brakes got the porsche carbon developers. everywhere because they're lighter got the carbon on the inside carbon buckets fully gutted interior and the Carbon back. Trunk. We got the car Come cover on. in there right now, but we got a brace right there to stiffen up the rear. Yep. We got the uh, RS3 pump in the fuel tank. Um, Sweet. We have uh, the Verka line front and rear subframes for weight savings. Olin suspension too, right? Olin <laughs> suspension, Verka yep. line subframe. Looks good. This this is this is sick. Yeah, no, it's good. It's cool. Carbon, carbon fenders, carbon hood. Yep. And we'll be uh, getting down mm -hmm. the dyno and seeing what it does. What's it gonna make for power? I hope seven. We already put our guesses in. Mm -hmm. You were there. Which one? What did I, I think say? Martin says six. Nah, he said like four or something. I said I don't even remember what I, I said. I didn't say four or something. Yeah, he did. With the flex? Mm -hmm. No way. No, he didn't, dude. He said dude. I think Martin said like six. Martin said what turbos on it. I'm like I don't know. He was like, well, I gotta know what turbos on it. See what power it's making. So um, it's basically, true. the turbo is just called Typhoon. You know, there's Vort there's Typhoon. There's this. There's that. But the millimeter of it, um, I don't know. I'd have to look up what a Typhoon is from EQT. But it's the right. Typhoon turbo from EQT. Um, I don't know what the, the tuner, this car is not a, it's not a flex fuel car. It's not running UM's tune. So this is EQT tune. So they're going to run just like an E60 probably like all, okay. all the time. Um, that's why his flex sensors ran into the car and his, it's going to tell him pretty much all the time what it is. If it was UM tune, you wouldn't have to do any of that. It just, right. the flex it do it tune, on the, do it, it on does the fly, everything right? for you. But yeah. this car, so it's not going to, it could only run on EDC. We need full flex turbo one. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he doesn't hand. want UM, he wants EQT, so. Thanks, Nick. Well, I think EQT needs to step up the game. <laughs> let's Yo, get this thing on the dyno. Yeah, let's get this thing on the dyno. I want to get a sticker. Or like, even right here. Stay tuned. Yo, you think Bryce will pay me now? Stay tuned. You think the 1099 will get paid since the car's done now? Stay tuned. Meanwhile. Nick? Yo. We are back in the Golf R. That was, we are spinning all we're, four, huh? We're back in the Gulf R. <laughs> yeah, so um, it was on the dyno. We were doing pump gas numbers. Um, on pump gas, it made 525 on 93 octane. Yep. Um, we had to pull it off the dyno real quick to uh, replace the high pressure fuel pump and the water pump. The high pressure fuel pump, um, it was a three year old unit. Um, the pumps, the high pressure fuel pumps on these, um, when you have the aftermarket piston in it, Sometimes when it gets hot, the piston seizes up. And right on the last runs, uh, Matt over at EQT said we just, you know, fuel pressure just is shit bad. So basically, EQT warranty their part, got a, got a part overnighted. Sweet. So we have a new high pressure fuel pump in there. And then the new um, thermostat housing from FCP is actually leaking. 
Um, so we got that warrantied and I just uh, finished putting a new one of those in. So awesome. we have uh, everything uh, bled now, uh, new fuel uh, pump installed. And um, this is pretty much a done file, like 525 wheel done file on uh, 93 octane. Um, so we're just going for a ride, make sure, you know, we have heat and everything works good. Uh, I vacuum blood it, but still we're just gonna go for a little ride, show Tyler what this feels like. And then uh, we're gonna be putting it back on the dyno and uh, I'm gonna hit up Matt and tell him that, you know, it's good to go again. We're gonna be tuning it on the ED5 now. Um, so yeah, 525 wheel on pump gas. Awesome, That's good. Um, those are good numbers for a pump. Yeah, and now we're gonna do uh, ED5. Let's do it. Nick's gassing her up. E85 going in. How you feeling? Feel good. She did good on pump gas. She made 530 wheel on pump gas. So 530 wheel on pump gas, that's really nice. Probably a mid 10 second car in the quarter mile on uh, pump gas. So that's really nice. And now we're about to add the E85. <clears throat> so uh, it'd be nice for a, to be a nine second car. Let's make add, it happen. Let's add the 85, get a dyno run, see what we do. All right, Nick, ready for the run? So she we started made, with the 85, huh? Yeah, so this is on full E now. Um, we have, let me show you our pump gas numbers. Let's do it. How you feeling? This has been a long time coming, Nick. We posted part one a while ago. Really? of the full build. Can you guys guess the ACI Dynamics dyno room? <laughs> One eternity later. And we're back. So our pump gas numbers right here. Uh, final, final pump gas tune is 530 wheel, 430 torque. Sweet. Uh, so 530 wheel. The graph looks really nice. Yeah. Um, on 93 octane pump gas. So that, you know, 530 wheel in this light car. Um, he's got carbon hatch, uh, carbon doors are coming. Um, he's got carbon fenders, carbon hood, yep. carbon everything. We got Verkaline front and rear um, subframes, full yep. subframes, front and rear from Verkaline. Um, everything that's lightweight in titanium in this car, we did it. Um, fully built engine, like you saw in that video. So yep. now the Dino runs. Um, that 530 wheel on pump gas is probably a mid 10 second car uh, for this car and driver. Um, now we're gonna be putting E85 in it, um, seeing what we can make on E85. I would like to see like 650 wheel. Okay. Um, I would love to see 700, but course, without like yeah. doing crazy porting to the head, 700 is sometime a little bit impossible. Um, so we're gonna see what we could do on E85. Um, we're just trying to get the final uh, pump gas out of the lines right now. Um, we have a little hidden spot for our ethanol gauge inside the car. Okay. Want to check it out? Yeah. I would be more than happy to show you. So you just pop this down. Oh, sweet. And right now it's on E20, so we need to get up there. Uh, if I hit it a little bit, get into boost a little bit, we should get the pump sucking. Um, and we should, uh, it should be able to turn it up. But So for the viewers that don't know, Nick, what is that reading? Just so you can let them That's know. That's ethanol content. Um, so your normal like pump gas numbers, you probably have around between nine to 10 to 11% ethanol content um, inside your normal, um, you know, pump gas. Yep. In, you know, 87, 93. Um, but now we're going full. Uh, we're doing ethanol, so so uh, this this should read eighty five ethanol gauge, eighty five. That's pure E eighty five. So okay. um, hopefully we get to like E eighty on that gauge. Okay. Because um, this is not a flex tune; it's full, full Sweet. E. So yeah. awesome.
How'd that run go, Nick? So that run was the first revision um, on the 85 from the tuner. Um, so that run made 625 wheel and 530 wheel torque. Nice smooth graph. Um, so another 25 wheel horsepower shouldn't be too much to ask for. You know? Awesome. Let's do another pull and let's get this thing to 650. Let's do it, baby. Unstrap it and see how it feels on the road. Oh, it's rated. I know. Let's go look at this graph. Uh, he needs a fourth gear pull on the road. He said third gear will light up all four. <laughs> Let's go check out this graph. Turbo hand built, baby. Look at that. I know you explained, we explained, you know, before at the beginning of this video, the wire tuck, that everything we did to it. Uh, the manifold's not even warm, dude. What a beautiful, beautiful build. This is running on. Um, an EQT Typhoon yep. turbo with a fully built motor. Um, this is just, this is uh, one of my dream builds. Uh, what, this is in the top 10 volts. Uh, this is in the top 10 fastest Volkswagens I've built. Right. Um, 700 wheel. Um, 700 wheel on a four cylinder is pretty dope. It is, it is. Let's so, check out the graph. Yeah, let's look at the graph. Super clean. So we got man. torque at um, five, almost 560 torque and just shy of a hair of 700 wheel. Yeah. Um, this is what it made on a uh, full, full E. Right. And uh, I know we got the pump numbers before too. Um, and those were, those were really good for pump as well. Yeah. So the, if you guys want to see the pump numbers, so we got, uh, Let's see, final pump gas numbers and final 85 numbers. No, we have second test. So there we Sweet. go. Sweet. So if you guys want to color difference, just in case you're special like Brett. Um, final pump gas numbers. Um, you see the, that's in the look, red? In the red is 530 wheel yeah and then 680 wheel running uh ethanol awesome so we have pump gas numbers and the graph and looks super clean the graph which is super super clean what you want awesome so nick on to a road test and then this thing's going home right yeah this thing is finally going home <laughs> It's been a cool project though to watch. Um, part one is already live on YouTube of Nick, you know, installing the whole motor, building it, putting it together. And now you guys have just finished watching part two of the tuning and all the numbers and fun stuff. Guys, this car, this car buggies, guys. It does. It sounds good. It looks good. The wire tuck's good. Yeah, so what we're gonna and do here is we're going to print him out two graphs awesome so that's the final pump gas tune and we're going to print the graph for him and just to show you guys so we're not bullshitting see that smoothing one to one correction it's one so the correction is all the way off if i turned it up to 99 you see the graph how, how smooth it gets right check this out can take the smoothing completely off no correction you can see how smooth it is yep um, now we're going to print the ED5. There it is, guys. Awesome. Graph. Actually, you know what? I'm going to print two because this car so came out so perfect that I want to hang one on my toolbox. Just in case customers ask what to see that. Filter value, one. No 99. We're not smoothing anything. This right. is 530 wheel horsepower on pump gas. Yep. And it is 600. 
78, right? 80 horsepower yeah. on E85. These, That's awesome. This is amazing. Awesome, Nick. If you guys want to get this done I to your this car, your Golf R, um, you know, up, contact us. Hit up Turbo Hand. Even if you just want the the I wire tuck. Build. Even if you want the wire tuck, I yeah. will build the shit out of your MQB. Just let us know. Even if even if you don't want that much power, just let us know if you want this guys, clean look listen, engine bay. It looks really good. Five hundred horsepower is me with a blindfold on this right. car. You can make 500 horsepower wheel so easy. Yeah. You guys want the 700 horsepower. We got to put a little bit more money into right. it, like this kid did. But this thing is gnarly. It is. We're gonna be. He ran a 10.8. He ran a 10.8 at the track before this turbo, before the engine build, before yep. anything. He ran a 10.8 on a EQT Vortex XL with a stock motor. Now with a fully built motor, stage five uh, DSG tune and um a typhoon instead of an xl we're gonna see it's a little bit laggier but we're, we're gonna see what he can do past that 10 8 right. number at the track now this thing's gonna boogie awesome guys let us know what you thought of this down below in the comments and stay tuned for more coming soon it didn't beat b money's b money's <laughs> that's hit, fine he hit it was like seven ninety five it was seven i thought at one point yeah thanks nick you're welcome